Yo, make sure you guys drop like and subscribe in the next five seconds, and I promise something good will happen to you tomorrow. It did for my boy Jackson here. All right, what is going? What is happening? How's everybody doing today? My name is Chuck, and welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be jumping into my top five best ARs for you guys to use here in Warzone. I normally go over and give you guys like a top five most overpowered guns, but today we're specifically going to be focusing on the assault rifles. So I'm going to go through, give you guys a setup for the best five ARs you guys can possibly use in Warzone. So hopefully, you guys enjoy today's video. Before any farther, if you guys can do me a favor, drop a like on this thing also subscribe with all notifications turned on we're on the road to 800,000 subscribers to so be awesome you guys can join the squad and also comment down the comment section below what is your go-to assault rifle here in warzone okay so our first AR we're going to be jumping in here too is going to be the ground 5.56 and the reason this is going to be on her top five is just because this gun has quite literally no recoil when you put it with the right build and also has incredible iron sights making it an absolute laser beam and it's also got incredible range it's not the hardest hitting gun out there but it's got incredible range no recoil and that's why it's super Super easy to use so we're gonna throw this in here so for our muzzle is gonna be our first attachment we're gonna go in here and what we're gonna do is we're gonna throw on the monolithic suppressor for that sound suppression and that damage range the reason we're gonna be using the mono is just because it's the best suppressor in the entirety of all the modern warfare muzzle attachments i mean it's there's literally no reason for you not to use a mono suppressor especially in battle royale where you are going to be showing up on the radar if you don't happen to have a suppressed gun so always use the mono if you do not happen to have it unlocked i always say run something like the tactical but always stay away from something like the lightweight because this will decrease your damage range whereas the tactical will not and of course the monolithic will then increase your damage range so always run the mono if you happen to have it for our barrel this is actually going to be where we have around one to two different options in here but i'm just going to say we're going to only go with one so i should say that the two viable options we have is a tempest 26.4 archangel barrel and then we have the fss 20.8 nexus barrel and i've ran the nexus barrel you know a lot in public matches before in regular multiplayer i've ran it a little bit in Warzone back when it was like before the growl it happened to get a tad bit of a nerf like way 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 back but i mean i'll just tell you guys right now that i don't really think the nexus barrel is going to be as viable as the tempest 26.4 archangel barrel this is going to give you the most damage range the most bullet velocity and the most recoil control which is going to be what we are looking for and also when you guys look at the tempest barrel this actually gives you the best iron sights compared to the nexus barrel this will give you some incredibly nice iron sights to be able to use and i really really like that so always run the tempest if you happen to have this barrel it's a fairly early level unlocked to make the growl you know very very good so always use this now we're gonna be jumping into the inner barrel section so we're gonna keep this very very simple here and we're gonna run the commando foregrip and the reason we're gonna be running this is because this is gonna give us that recoil stabilization that aiming stability but it's also not gonna slow us down too much if we were to run something like the merc foregrip of course we'd maybe get a tad bit better recoil control or a tad bit more hip fire accuracy but it will slow you down your aim down sight speed which is not something we're looking to do at all and honestly we're not really trying to hit fire with this gun because it's at a certain point if you are actually getting into those close quarter situations you probably should have like a mac 10 or an ffar or something else like that where you can whip it out in close range that's going to be more beneficial for you so you should just use the command of foregrip this is going to be perfect for all situations next up we have the ammunition category so this is kind of more like personal preference as i always like to say but for me i'm a 60 round mag kind of guy i always go for a 60 round magazine as cool as it does look to have the white 50 round magazine on the alabaster variant here which is i believe what it's actually called because this is a really sick variant for the grout 5.56 uh, i always just go the 60 round magazine just because like it's the most amount of ammo i can possibly carry and you guys should just always run this there's no reason for you not to run a 60 round magazine on the ground i mean if you're playing solos i could see why you'd maybe want to run like the 50 just for a little bit more mobility but if we're playing squads i mean you need the extra 10 rounds in that magazine or something like that just because the chance of you having to you know disperse a lot of ammo into more than one person is going to be very high so you want to be able to make sure you have the most amount of ammo in your magazine possible and last but not least we're to be in here in the optics section we basically have two options here for our last sort of attachment what we're going to be doing here is we're going to be throwing on the vlk three times optic and the reason we're throwing this on here is because the growl already has hardly any recoil whatsoever and this is just going to allow you to hit more of those shots and just be more precise with it so you guys can definitely run the vlk my other option in here instead of running the vlk is actually not to run it optic at all it's actually to go over to the laser section and throw in something like the tack laser and this is going to help you guys out if you're trying to be more aggressive with the growl me personally this is what i like to do because i like to be an aggressive ar player so i'm going to run the tack laser for that aim down sight speed aiming stability and aim walking steadiness this is just going to make more of your shots an absolute laser beam and like what i was saying about you know the uh, iron sights on the barrel this is just going to be super good you guys should always run the tack laser or the vlk is your final attachment for the growl but for me i want to run the tack laser but you guys can definitely you know go ahead and swap it out i just personally like running the tack laser that is just my preference at the end of the day so if you want to run our site you definitely can if we want to run this you definitely can
definitely can. This is my full Grau 5.56 build. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy that. This thing is an absolute tank. Definitely go give it a shot. Okay, next up in here in our top five is actually going to be the CR 56 A Max. This gun is amazing. Definitely probably one of the top ARs you guys can possibly use in Warzone. So, of course, let's actually jump into this. The muscle category, I'm not going to spend too much time on this thing. We're just going to throw in the monolithic suppressor here for that sound suppression and that damage range. That is obviously what we want. This is our go to attachment here. I don't want to spend too much time in here because I already explained it with the Grau. And basically, the same thing applies for the rest of Modern Warfare weapons we'd happen to throw in here. And then, of course, I'll explain the agency or any other silencers I'd use on the Cold War guns. So, let's go and add on the monolithic for this. Next, we're going to go into the barrel section. We basically only have about one option that is indeed viable, and that is going to be the XRK Zodiac. Zodiac S440 barrel. This is going to give us that damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. There's going to be a reoccurring pattern where we want to use the most heavy barrel possible just because this is going to help us out the most. I mean, in multiplayer, sometimes you can get away with not running something like this, but to be honest, even in multiplayer, I happen to run a barrel like this. But for Warzone, this is crucial that you guys always run the XRK Zodiac barrel. Damage range, bullet velocity, recoil control, like I say, you know, the trifecta of what we want to be able to get out of our barrels. This is going to be the best for you guys to possibly use on your S. CR 56 a max now for the inner barrel we're just going to use the commando foregrip for the recoil stabilization and that aiming stability this is what we're going for here we don't really need something too too much more i've seen people run something like the merc foregrip or even like the ranger foregrip but if you start running a sight on this gun while running the merc or the ranger foregrip you start actually being able to like you know aim down sights very very slow which is not good at all so we're trying to avoid aiming down sights very slow so you guys should definitely go ahead and just run the commando if you feel like you can control the recoil but if you can't control the recoil you can definitely throw in something like the Ranger. Just understand that your aim down sight speed is indeed going to be slower. Next up in here in the ammunition category, we basically only have about one option, and that is indeed the 45 round magazine. There's no reason to run the base 30 round magazine. That's not going to do you anybody for any benefit at all. Just go run the 45 round mag and just call it a day. Seriously, nobody's going to use the M67 10 round magazine. It's just not beneficial. It's not viable. Don't ever use that. Just use the 45 round mag. That's all we really have access to, so just use it. And last but definitely not least on the CR56 Amex. What we're going to go ahead and use here is going to be the VLK 3 times optic for that zoom level. And this has got an incredible sight to it. I really, really like the VLK on the Modern Warfare weapons. I much prefer to use the VLK 3 times over the Axle Arms 3 times on the Cold War guns. This is just such a good sight. And you guys should definitely be running this on a lot of your ARs if you're trying to make it so it has any type of range. And this is going to be what I always run on my Amex. This is seriously like my number one Amex setup that I'm always running just because this is so incredibly good. You guys should definitely go ahead and give this a shot. The Amax is a top tier assault rifle probably almost like the number one assault rifle you guys can possibly use so i couldn't throw in a top five without throwing in the ffar1 this is going to be the carbon steel variant uh for those of you guys that are looking for what the variant is this is like part of like a 20 dollar bundle but basically this is like one of the only cold war ars that i feel like is really really good and that's because it has a variety of different uses you can run it as a main ar you can run it as a secondary it is just overall really incredible so we're just going to give you guys the number one way to use this as a backup I I made a specific video about how to use this as a primary yesterday so you guys can definitely go check that out if you want to but let's get into this obviously the muzzle we're gonna go add on the agency suppressor and this is crazy because this gives you four benefits here sound suppression vertical recoil control bull velocity and effective damage range that's the reason we always have to use the agency no matter what on our guns it was nerfed into the ground but it got that patch got reverted then it got buffed even a little bit so always run the agency seriously you're gonna thank me later always run this attachment for the barrel section this is where a lot of stuff has shifted around here even in the most recent patch so what we're going to be running on this thing is not going to be the task force barrel we're actually going to run the 20.3 takedown barrel that's going to give you an incredible amount of bullet velocity which is going to put you way way up there at the peak end of you know what the ffar can possibly produce and then we're also going to give you some strafe speed which is really solid because like i said we're running this as a secondary it's going to be kind of like you know in place of your smg or something like that and uh this is going to be crazy because you're gonna be able to strafe around super super fast and this has no cons so it's not going to affect your recoil control like your vertical your horizontal nothing like that this is going to be an amazing barrel to run and it's really going to help you guys out and i prefer to run this it's like my number one barrel by far so you guys should definitely go around the 20.3 takedown for the under barrel section what we're going to do is we're going to go down to the second to the bottom is run the field agent grip for that horizontal and vertical recoil control the ffar has a kind of a nasty bit of recoil and that's why we need to be able to control it as much as possible so that's why we're going to run the field agent it's going to give us the maximum horizontal and vertical 
build that we can possibly get out of our underbarrel section so you guys should definitely go ahead and run this this is going to be amazing and uh, this really helps me kind of you know zero in on my shots and make sure that i'm you know getting the most amount of accuracy possible because this thing really can kick like quite a bit if you do not have the right stuff on there for the ammunition side of things we're going all the way down to the bottom dead on the salvo 50 round fast mag this is going to give us the most amount of ammo possible and it's going to give us slate of hand so it's basically like a two for one which is incredible i mean who doesn't like having the most amount of ammo possible and actually having it be a fast reload i always run the salvo 50 round fast mag and you guys should definitely do that as well this is 100 my go-to option on the ammunition and for the stock what we're actually going to go ahead and do is we're going to go down to the very bottom and run the raider stock for that ads firing move speed and walking movement speed and that sprint to fire time this is going to make us a movement machine it's going to be absolutely nuts and uh, you guys should uh, definitely use this this isn't going to be a gun where you're going to want to hip fire with this is going to be a gun where you're just going to be strafing back and forth so unbelievably fast that people aren't going to be able to hit you and i'll tell you what is incredibly lethal when you jump around a corner or something like that and you just still continue to glide like it is kind of nutty when you're able to do that so uh definitely go to run the raider stock on this thing i love doing that if i was to run it as like a primary ar i'd probably swap out run like the cqb pad or something like that and maybe like the reinforced heavy barrel but i mean honestly if we're running this as like you know a secondary we're trying to move around uses as a close quarters gun the raider stock is going to be your go-to attachment on this thing and I mean, i'll tell you what this ffar is absolutely nasty probably one of my favorite secondaries and even sometimes a primary to use in the entirety of warzone okay so into our fourth gun here this is going to be the m4a1 we're sticking to our assault rifle category and we're picking out a gun that has been tried and true for as long as i can possibly remember ever since the integration of warzone to begin with this gun is amazing so first thing is first obviously going to the muzzle category add on the monolithic suppressor we don't got to think too much about this this is going to be what we're going to be rolling with here sound suppression damage range obviously what we want so we're going to add this on here basically no questions asked like if you guys remember back to what i said we're on the tactical if you do not happen to have the mono but always stay away from the lightweight that's always going to decrease your damage range and that is the last thing we're trying to do in warzone so always add on the mono now we're going to go to the barrel section and we basically have about two options in which we can possibly use so let's go over them so we have the stock m16 grenadier barrel here and then we have the corvus custom marksman basically all the rest of the barrels in the category are going to be very very bad and you really shouldn't go ahead and use them even if you're trying to play multiplayer i just don't really think they're beneficial official in any way shape or form so for me what i'm going to use is going to be the stock m16 grenadier barrel for that maximum damage range bullet velocity and recoil control of the trifecta this is amazing always run this barrel i've definitely tried out the corvus custom marksman if you're trying to be really really aggressive it definitely can work very well but for me i've kind of swapped back and forth and i generally speaking like this stock m16 barrel better it just feels like it hits heavier to me and i really really like that so i want to make sure that i'm hitting the heaviest i possibly can in warzone i want to be able to take out you know my enemies with the least amount of ammo possible so obviously we want to be able to make sure our barrels can give us the most amount possible so that's the reason we're running this barrel for the under barrel we're running the commando foregrip here keep it a very very simple recoil stabilization aiming stability we really don't got to think too much about it i mean honestly it is you know the m4 it's not gonna have a crazy crazy amount of recoil it just it's gonna be a pretty big laser beam once you really get all these attachments and everything on there so just run the commando otherwise you're just gonna be slowing yourself down unnecessarily and we really don't want to do that for the ammunition category we have a variety of options in here but only about one or two of these is going to be good the 50 and the 60 round magazine the par 32 and the socom these are absolute garbage don't ever use these they're like i don't even know why they're even options don't ever use them i guess they're just for fun but they're really not good in any way shape or form go ahead and run like the 60 round magazine i'm a 60 round magazine kind of guy so i'm always gonna to run this thing even if i'm playing solos it just feels right for me to run this but anyways i mean it, it gives you more benefits to have more ammo in the magazine than it does maybe to have a tad bit more mobility i feel like the range i'm using my m4 it's not crucial for me to have you know the quickest aim down sights time possible so that's the reason i'm gonna run the 60 i'd rather have those extra rounds of the magazine so i can take out more people than be able to have just a tad bit more mobility it's really not that big of a deal and honestly i really like running 60. last but not least what we're gonna do here is we're gonna go in and add on the v lk three times optic to give us the maximum zoom that we can get or not the maximum zoom but basically the most viable zoom we can possibly have on an ar which is the three times and that the, i love this thing i just absolutely love the vlk super super good optic and it's just it fits so well onto so many different guns if you guys don't use an optic you really need to uh i would highly highly recommend it i love running this on my m4 if i swap this out it'll be for something like a tac laser kind of like i did in the Grau 5.56 
six. Yeah, a lot of my builds kind of have you know recurring themes to them, you know, but I love the VLK. So definitely go to run this. This is a tank of an M4 setup. You're gonna be able to get so many wins with this thing. Seriously, I've gotten a lot of wins with this. Uh, I really, really like this. You guys should definitely go to try it out. And for our last weapon here today, we're gonna throw on the Kilo 141. This thing doesn't hit as hard as it used to, but this thing is a quite literal laser beam. Has no recoil, and of course, we're gonna give you guys the best setup for that. So let's actually jump into this here, the muzzle category. We're gonna throw on the monolithic suppressor. Don't have to explain this too much. We're just gonna throw that on there. For the barrel section, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in and we're gonna add on to the 19.8 Prowler barrel. This can give us the maximum damage range, bullet velocity, and recoil control. This is what we really wanna be able to have on our gun. I would say that this is gonna be, without a doubt in my mind, the best barrel possible you guys can run. I always run this in Warzone and even public matches. I find it to be very, very solid. So you guys should definitely go ahead and try this out. In the under barrel section, we can keep this very simple because the Kilo doesn't have that much recoil, even without a foregrip. So we're just gonna run the Commando foregrip. This is just perfect for us it's going to give us the right amount of recoil stabilization and aiming stability without slowing us down which is going to be what we are looking for we're going to be able to have decent mobility without slowing ourselves down and still be able to control a lot of our recoil because i mean obviously you ain't going to be able to take people out if you can't hit your shots but we also want to be able to make sure that we can even pull our gun up so we can start taking people out so the commando is going to be perfect for that in the ammunition category we're just going to go to run the 60 round magazine this is going to be my option basically on every single assault rifle the kilo has a 100 round drum magazine but i'll tell you guys this right now this is not beneficial in any way shape or form there's no reason you guys should ever run the 100 round drum magazine in warzone unless for whatever reason it gets glitched or bugged or something else like that and it just does exactly the opposite and gives you better aim down sights time and better movement speed there's no reason to run the kilo 100 round drum mag always just run this 60 and you guys will be perfectly fine and to round this out to make use of all the accuracy we're going to have on this thing the vlk three times optic this is like i said a pretty pretty reoccurring theme here on my ars so so go ahead and run the VLK. This thing is amazing. Probably this is the best sight you can ever run on the Kilo. I mean, I've seen a lot of people run like the Corp Combat Hollow sight. I mean, this is also really cool because it's the Emerald variant of this gun, the Homecoming variant. So you guys could definitely run, you know, the, the Corp Combat Hollow with something like a blue dot if you want to be able to run it like that. But for me, I always run the VLK and that seems to be like kind of my go-to on a lot of my ARs. I just love having that damn, you know, that extra range on there, be able to see people at, you know, more range. So uh, this is my Kilo setup definitely go ahead and try this out this thing is amazing laser beam i'll tell you like seriously this thing does not move so that's all i got for you guys here today if you guys enjoyed the video slap a like on it subscribe with all notifications turned on make sure you guys comment on the comment section below and just remember don't triple cap don't be randy and i'm out peace